Hi there, my name is Carlo and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the ZN function. This will let you replace any nulls in your data set with zeros. So, let's jump right into Tableau and get started. First of all, the data source I'll be using today is one that I've mocked up previously. However, I will be including it in the video description if you'd like to use it. As we can see, this data set has employee name, department, and revenue. So, in the revenue field, we can see that we have a lot of nulls present where there should be values. This will impact us when we want to look at the average revenue for each department, for example. So, let's just go ahead and do that without the ZM function first. So, if I drag department from my data pane into my rows, we can then see all the departments in my fake company. Then, if I take revenue and drag that onto the table until I see the show me button, then let go, it will give me the sum of the revenue for each department. Now, as I want to see the average, I can come to this green pill here, click on the drop down, then measure an average. This will then show me the average for each department. However, when we drill down into the data, so for example, I right click on one of these values and then go to view data. And then at the bottom here, I go to full data. We can see that it's actually only averaging those values that are present. It's completely disregarding our nulls. This will actually inflate our average revenue value and it will not take into account those nulls that we see in our data set. So this is where we can use the ZM function. If I exit out of this and now I go back to my data pane and to the revenue pill, right click on it, then go down to create calculated field. All I need to do to replace the nulls of zeros in the revenue field is just to wrap it in the ZN function. So first we put ZN in capital letters, followed by an open bracket at the start of the field and a closed bracket at the end of the field. Then just to make sure I remember that this is a ZN field now, I just put ZN revenue as my field name. Then click OK. Now as we can see we have this new calculated field. If I left click and drag that calculated field over the rest of my values until I see the show me, we can now see a comparison between the two. Now this ZM review again is showing me some, so let's do what I did before and change that to an average by going down to the green pill on the left, clicking the drop down, then measure an average. As we can see now, our average revenue is a lot lower than we previously expected. So it's, the ZM function is very useful when trying to get the most accurate sums out of our data. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in using the ZN function. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to video we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.